Hi Woodmurbies, I'm Miss Sezalitz and welcome to my scavenger hunt. A few things before we get started. Number one, everything that you're gonna need is inside your house. Number two, if I ask you to find something and it's too high or it's hard to pick up or it belongs to someone else or you think you shouldn't pick it up, just leave it where it is and point to it. And that's fine, you don't have to pick it up. Number three, um, I'm gonna be telling you to press pause in the video when I tell you to go find the item. I'll say press pause now and go hunting. So that's gonna stop the video. You can go look around your house and then when you come back, you're gonna press play, okay? And the last thing, the fourth thing is that I want you to find, try to find a different item for each clue. So if I give you 10 clues today, which I will, I want you to find 10 different things. Challenge yourself and have fun. Okay, let's start. For our home scavenger hunt, we're going to need a list. Here's our list. I'm gonna ask you to find something in your house. And when I say that, I mean you need to search around and look for things that meet the clues. And when you find them, you come back. So here we have our first part of the list shows us that we're going to find 10 different things. The first thing I want you to find is something colorful. So find something with lots and lots of colors in it, lots of different colors. Press pause now and go hunting. What did you find? I found this stuffed animal that has so many colors in it. Even all four of its legs have different colors. Even has a colorful tail. Great, we found something colorful. Now, I want you to find something soft and cozy. So think about how soft an, a rabbit or a puppy is and cozy means something really comfortable. Press pause now and go hunting. What did you find? I found this lovely, cozy, and soft hat that I love to wear in the wintertime. Makes me feel so warm and cozy. Great, we found something soft and cozy. Now I need you to find something that you use every day. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, something you use every single day. Press pause now and go hunting. So what did you find that you use every day? For me, I thought of my toothpaste because definitely I use that two times a day and I hope you do too. Um, I'm sure there are many, many things we could have picked for this. So good. Great. We found something that you use every day. Now I need you to find something that comes in a pair. A pair means that there are two of something. Sometimes they're connected like these cherries and sometimes they're separate, but they do go together like these cute birds. So press pause now and go hunting for something in a pair. So what did you find for something that comes in pairs? I found my pair of glasses. So this one actually is a little tricky. You could have something like a pair of scissors. That's not really two things, but it is in a pair or like a pair of pants, um, maybe even a pair of shoes. Great, we found something that comes in a pair. And so now I want you to find something with a pattern. When I say a pattern, I mean that maybe it has shapes, or lines or squiggles or pictures that happen over and over and over again. So find something in your house that has a fun pattern on it. Press pause now and go hunting. What did you find in your house that had a pattern in it? My item that I found is a pillow that has a zebra pattern, but not like a real zebra pattern, like if we had crazy green and black zebras running around which we don't but um i had lots of patterns in my house but that was one of the most fun ones 
Great. We found something with a pattern. Now I want you to find something the size of your fist. In case you're not sure what that word means, your fist is if you take your hand and you put it in a little ball really tight. Find something the size of your fist. Press pause now and go hunting. So what did you find that was the size of your fist? I went into my kitchen and I found this onion, which I think is probably about the same size as my fist. Great, we found something the size of our fists and now I want you to find something that helps you learn while you're at home. So I know we do a lot of learning at school, but what helps you learn while you're at home? Press pause now and go hunting. So what did you find that helps you learn? I have been using this notebook a lot, so I picked up this notebook. I write down everything that I need to write down so I don't forget. Great, we found things that help us learn. Now, can you find something that you use once a week? So before we ask for something you find you use every single day, this is just something you might use one time during the week. Press pause now and go hunting. So what did you find that you use once a week? I had a hard time thinking of this one, but then I realized that I only water my plants once a week. So I use this watering can one time a week to give water to my plants. I thought that one might be a little tricky, but I hope you found something good. Great, we found something that we use once a week, and now I want you to find something that someone gave you. So it might be something that they just kind of gave because they were done using and they said you could keep it or maybe it was a special present, like a gift. So press pause now and go hunting. So what did you find that someone gave you? This is one of my favorite things I ever got. My dad made this little tiny Christmas tree out of um, a pine cone and glued all these little fun things on it and some sprinkles and stuff. So, or glitter, I guess you would say. So this is what I found. Great, we found something that someone gave to you or us. And now the very last thing, and I thought I'd end on a positive note, find something that is very special to you. So look around, find something that makes you feel really happy and fills your heart with joy. Press pause now and go hunting. Okay, last and my very favorite category. What did you find that was really special to you? Because I found, well, I knew where it was, I use it a lot. This is a blanket that was crocheted by my grandmother who's no longer alive. And so this actually could have been in my soft and cozy category too. And also the one with the pattern and maybe also the one that was colorful and something I use every day. This one really fits in all the categories, but I love it so much because it reminds me of my time with my grandmother. Great. We found things that were very special to us. And that is the end of our scavenger hunt. Mission complete. Great job. I hope you had lots of fun doing this, as much fun as I did. And I hope you have fun with the rest of your field day.